I made a DP and I oversee training, educational outreach and scientific programs here at Perimeter Institute. I'm also a researcher working in quantum gravity. Quantum gravity is really trying to understand the fundamental nature of space-time. I would say the same way that we know now that for matter, you know, you have atoms that form matter and uh, so really understanding quantum gravity is maybe finding these atoms of space-time. Perimeter for quantum gravity is one of the big hub, so most of people who are working in my field have some connection with Perimeter. It's created a very dynamical environment. Definitely, I went to science because of teachers. I had really amazing teacher and me in, uh, in math, biology, and, and physics. With my university in, in France, I was still an undergraduate student, and I had the opportunity to spend one term in Canada. So I applied to come to Toronto, in fact, and so I spent one term at uh, U of T. As part of the program in France, I had to do an internship, and I came here, and there were many people working together on a blackboard and uh, asking questions and being curious and trying to understand. And I was like, oh, okay, this is what this means to do research in physics. It's uh, asking questions, discussing, writing equations on the blackboard. It was, wow, I love this place. I want to become a physicist. <laughs> I didn't know before that it had a big impact on <laughs> what I decided to do later. The research that I'm doing, I'm really interested in the math behind the physics, how you can use math to de describe more efficiently what you try to describe as the uh, physics phenomena. So I'm not a mathematician, but really this uh, understanding of, of uh, math as a language that you can use to describe the real world is really something that I always found uh, very powerful. Perimeter are three main pillars, so research, training, and educational outreach. For the training part, our flagship program is PSI, Perimeter Scholar International. It's a 10-month program where we bring students from all around the world and they really dive into uh, theoretical physics. So they will start uh, with classical physics, relativity, but then in the second term, they will be learning more cutting-edge physics. In addition to PSI, which is a master program, then we have a PhD program. The PhD student is when you do research with one of our faculty. Here at PI, we really try to create a sense of community and support through mentoring and more social activity. Educational outreach is to bring the excitement of science to, to the classroom. We are focusing on training high school teacher, Einstein Plus, which is one week workshop. We also have programming for high school students to bring really hands-on activity that maybe students won't see in the regular curriculum. Every year we also have the Inspiring Future Women in Science Day, which is one day event where we bring high school students in, at Perimeter and where we have a number of female keynote speakers that show what you can do in STEM as a job. So it's not just about physics, it's being a doctor, it can be working on biology, but it's really about what you can do in STEM and with all very inspiring women. So when I'm not doing physics, what I'm doing for fun is spending time with my daughters, my family, and I really love uh, any outdoor activities, but more, mostly I'm running, I'm a runner, to get away from the thinking. <laughs> it's really a way for me to uh, yeah, decompress and get all the tension that you get, whatever is the job you're doing, I think, and uh, out. So, and then I can start from a very refreshed mind.